Rebel Wilson is suing an Australian magazine that ruined her career and is coming clean about starting over in Hollywood. Today's episode is brought to you by the Uncarrier with unlimited data from T-Mobile. The party never ends. Rebel is living up to her name and she's not about to let the tabloids win. Two years ago, Australian Women's Day magazine published an article claiming Rebel Wilson was lying about her age and her name. Shortly after, it was confirmed by the Aussie government that Rebel's birth name is actually Melanie Elizabeth Browns, and Rebel is not actually in her early 30s. Plot twist, she's 37. It turns out Hollywood wasn't so happy about Rebel lying about her background. She was fired from two DreamWorks films, including Kung Fu Panda 3 and Trolls, and soon after, she couldn't find work. Fast forward to this year, and Rebel decided to sue Bauer Media for defamation, labeling her a serial liar, and ultimately ruining her career. In testimony during her trial, Rebel revealed to the Supreme Court of Victoria that she had to beg film studios to let her work for free because no one would hire her. Rebel explained, quote, after month after month that all of the sudden doors that used to be open were shut and I basically had to beg to get back in the door. Rebel also told the court that she was so distressed by the tabloid articles that she developed a stress sore around her mouth and in result the editors of her film How to Be Single were forced to cut her from several scenes. In addition, Rebel claims that she developed eczema, a urinary tract infection, and had to take sleeping pills. Rebel has now bounced back and she is making movies again. She claims she never lied about anything and wants Woman's Day to pay for taking two years of her career away from her. Rebel believes it was a jealous former schoolmate that told Women's Day about her fake name and age in order to make money. So we do commend Rebel for standing up for herself, for other celebrities, and not letting this tabloid drama get away with defaming her career. And fun fact, Rebel actually has a law degree, so it seems like she's putting it to good use. I do want to know your thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Clever News. I'm Ryland Adams, and I'll see you soon. Now you gotta check out our brand new show, True Showmance, and thanks to our sponsor, T-Mobile. Stream, post, and share all the music and video you want, however you want, with unlimited data.